Today we're going to be talking about 68 Echo, which is a dental specialist in the United States Army. But without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys, so like I just said, we're gonna be talking about 68 Echo. Uh, it's an Army MOS, this is part of my Know Your MOS series, which we did in the past. I haven't done it in a while, but you guys have been messaging me, hey, do more MOSs. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do here today. Uh, comment down below what other MOSs you want me to cover in the future, that way I can try and make a video on them. But uh, this is a special episode, right, because usually I'm not these MOSs. I'm a 68 Whiskey, right, combat medic. Uh, so I'm not gonna talk about an MOS I have no experience talking about or doing uh, in particular right so uh, this is a great collab guys because we have Aaron BTV on here today he's gonna be sharing his insight since his MOS is 68 echo for those of you guys that don't know who Aaron BTV is he's another military youtuber he's up and coming guys I guarantee you in like the next year and a half he's gonna pass the number that I have right now uh, hands down I can put money on it uh, his links are gonna be in the description box below so if you want to check him out after this video definitely do so uh, but I'm gonna stop talking right just be sure to like follow subscribe subscribe is important uh, and also follow me on Instagram at Ben underscore Allen 175 if you have any questions whatsoever it's the best possible place to reach me but with all that out of the way guys let's jump straight into Aaron's introduction here it is what's up guys Aaron BTV here and Ben asked me to come on the channel to tell you guys about my MOS so my MOS is a 68 echo and that stands for a dental specialist in the United States Army so basically what a dental specialist in the United States Army is is basically a dental assistant in the civilian world so everything that a dental assistant does in the civilian world is pretty much what we do in day army world you feel me all right thank you so much Aaron for the introduction guys so like you heard it there pretty much what you're doing in the civilian side you know you're gonna be doing that in the army uh, you know probably to a, a certain extent right uh, but with that being said uh, Aaron what is some advice you would have for people that are thinking about you know choosing the job or that are already in this job uh, what do you think would them knowing like help them out in the future some advice for incoming soldiers who chose 68 echo as their MOS is basically don't get frustrated do not get discouraged courage and definitely definitely be persistent and have a good mental fortitude because being a 68 echo isn't easy at first but it's something you have to work at and in time you'll get better at it so that's very well put guys persistence is a big thing you know with any MOS right like when I was starting out as a 68 whiskey I was not the best by any means but I kept learning kept studying kept getting better at my MOS you know through consistency and persistence and if you do that with any MOS anything in the world really uh, you will get better so uh, we, with whether it's 68 echo or just you know 11 Bravo right it doesn't matter uh, but now moving on how physically demanding would you say that your MOS is in regards to how physically demanding the job is the job is definitely not very physically demanding you guys aren't going to be lifting heavy things but i will say is you guys will be stuck in certain positions for a long period of time while you're assisting the dentist so that can cause some irritation in the body but other than that it's pretty much a very very low physical strain level yeah, I probably should have picked 68 Echo because 68 Whiskey, you know, it is a little more on the physically demanding side just depending on what your role is, uh, but that's good, you know, so if you guys aren't looking for, you know, the rough and tough, you know, like in the field doing all this stuff, like lifting heavy objects, uh, you know, maybe 68 Echo is for you. Uh, I definitely probably should have considered my options before just picking 68 Whiskey off the bat, uh, but hey, you live and you learn, right? It's one of those things. Uh, so with that being said, what are some of the ways that, uh, you know, people could like get better at the requirements for for the job, you know, like should they study, should they do something? Uh, like what would you say that is? For anyone looking to better prepare themselves for the job, I would say definitely brush up some basic dental hygiene knowledge and just some basic oral anatomy and just read some dental books about, you know, the anatomy and definitely look up some YouTube videos about what it's like being a dental assistant. So you guys come in, you know, kind of having an idea of what it's like to be a dental assistant. Yo guys, what he said about looking up YouTube videos, right? Hey, that's what you're doing right here, right now, right? You're looking up 68 Echo videos or just anything about basic training in general. Uh, we supply it on our channel. Be sure to check it out, guys. We have content like every week, usually. I know I post uh, one on Friday, a full-length video, Wednesday, uh, live stream, and then every other day or something. It's like a YouTube short video with tips, tricks, and hacks for basic training. Uh, but I, I would recommend the same for 68 Whiskey, right? Study stuff before, like anatomy, physiology. Uh, so that's very, very important what he's saying, right? If you're planning on 
becoming you know a dental specialist uh it, it'd probably behoove you right behoove you uh we say behoove a lot in the army it's weird it's a weird word uh, but uh it would probably benefit you to you know brush up on certain things right uh so definitely keep that in mind when you're thinking about picking this job uh and moving on right so ait everybody's always got questions about ait how long is your ait and you know like just tell me a little bit about it so AIT for CCA Echo is eight weeks long, and I would say that it's definitely not easy. It's not a piece of cake, but it's definitely doable if you guys stay focused and definitely stay consistent in your studies. And you guys, I promise you, will get through it. So big facts yet again, guys. Consistency coming up, right? He's talked about persistence earlier. Uh, it's the same thing, right? These 68 uh, AITs, right? The 68 series AITs, you know, 68 Whiskey, 68 Charlie, Delta, Echo, whatever it may be, right? Uh, these AITs are typically a little longer and typically a little more like strenuous when it comes to studying and the knowledge you need to have in order to graduate these classes. Because if you don't study, if you don't prepare, you're not consistent, you know, you're slacking off, chances are you're not gonna have a good time there. It's gonna be like, oh my God, I hate studying. Uh, it's, it's just gonna be horrible. So definitely, definitely keep that in mind when considering this MOS, guys. Uh, it'll play a big factor in your overall career performance and progression. Uh, but yeah, so with AIT out of the way, uh, if you could change your MOS at all, like to anything, would you and why? If I could change my MOS, I would definitely change it to a 25 Victor, which is a combat cameraman in the United States Army. And I, it's either that or 11 Bravo, because I like to be up close with the action. I like to take risks. I like the adrenaline rush. And so if I could change my MOS, definitely uh, at least a combat cameraman, because I do like, you know, as you can see, filming and photography, videography, all that stuff. And so definitely if I could change my MOS, 25 Victor. But honestly, I don't think I would though, because 68 Echo is pretty a chill MOS as well. So I don't know. If they get rid of this one, I'll tell you that. I'd probably change my MOS to 25 Victor if they chose to get rid of this. Yo, so you're like legit like the third person or military YouTuber I've heard say 25 Victor that that's something they wanted to do. They go around, you know, filming, recording, taking photographs, all that stuff of just the stuff going in the, on in the army, right? Combat ca cameramen. Uh, so it's definitely something I would like to do too because like I love producing content. I love editing content. I love doing all that stuff. Just like Aaron said, guys, uh, it's a very promising MOS. So that's something you're into. Hey, maybe look into that. Uh, I would not want to be infantry. I've been a medic for them. Uh, they go through the suck. Uh, same with the scouts. Uh, definitely wouldn't want to be that. Uh, I'd probably pick like 68 Delta, 68 Charlie if I could change my MOS. Uh, but I definitely, definitely like where your head's at. 25 Victor uh, definitely sounds legit. Sounds cool, especially in the field of work that we're doing right now uh, with YouTube and all that fun stuff. So nice. I, I, I'm with it. I definitely, definitely uh, agree. Uh, so now, what would you say like made you pick your MOS? Like what drew you to 68? echo obviously you're at the recruiting station you have some options but uh th wh why did this one like stand out to you the most the reason i chose 68 echo for my mos is now i'm going to kind of contradict myself but i don't like going out to the field i don't like being dirty and so 11 bravo you know infantry man you're going to be out in the field all the time you're going to be dirty and i'm like i hate being dirty and so i'm like hey dental assistant 68 echo is dental specialist that doesn't sound like a job that goes out in the field a lot you know it sounds like a job that's going to be inside most of the time and so that's why i chose it really and also it's a very good job in the civilian world like pretty much the same in the army and the same in the civilian world and so that's a plus two and that's pretty much why i picked my job and ait was actually really short compared to the other MOSs that the army has to offer all right, guys, so definitely keep that in mind. He just talked about the civilian uh, opportunities from this MOS. Uh, that goes with a lot of MOS. It's one of the reasons why I picked 68 Whiskey, uh, right? He also talked about how he didn't want to be out in the field. He didn't want to do any of that stuff. So if you're looking for something like that, you know, something cush, something inside, uh, something just relaxed and chill for the most part, uh, definitely consider that. Always want to weigh your options when it comes to picking an MOS because you really got to know yourself as a person, right? Because if you're a person that likes being at a desk or if you're a person that likes being outside, right? If you like being at a desk, ch chances are infantry isn't for you. Uh, 19 Delta Cav Scouts isn't for you. If you like being in the field, uh, being S1, 42 Alpha probably isn't for you. Being uh, 68 Echo probably isn't for you. Uh, and you always got to keep in mind, like, hey, what do I want to do outside in the civilian world? Am I doing four years? Am I doing 20? If you're doing 20, it might not matter. But if you're doing four and you're trying to get out and take what you've learned,
to apply it to a job opportunity, you always got to pay attention to something like that, right? Uh, so thanks, Aaron, for that. I uh, definitely appreciate it. Now, overall, would you say that you enjoy your job? Do you like it? How do you feel about 68 Echo? In the end of it all, though, do I like my job? Yes, I do like my job. I enjoy, you know, taking care of patients, educating them about their oral health, and just, you know, having a patient come in, you know, with the problem and we end up fixing the problem at the end of the appointment and you guys meet a lot of people, you guys, you know, come in contact with a lot of people and their opinions, you can talk about them and they'll talk about their jobs and it's pretty cool and overall I enjoy being a 68 Echo. Now, if you guys don't know who I am, I'm Aaron B TV. I have a YouTube channel, it's called Aaron B TV. And if you guys wanna check me out, you guys can do so. But if not, thank you guys so much for, you know, Ben, thank you so much for having me on. And I hope you guys found some value out of this video. Peace. Yo, thanks a lot for coming on, man. I really, really appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad you liked your job. A lot of people join, they come in and they're like, ah, oh, you know what, hey, I'm not really feeling it. This is a mistake, the recruiter lied, yada, 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 right? Uh, but it's good to hear that you enjoy your job. And again, thank you so much for coming on. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, guys, be sure to check out Aaron's channel. The links will be in the description down below. Aaron BTV, I'm telling you guys, this kid's the next big thing in terms of military YouTubers, army-wise. Uh, be sure to check him out, guys. Like I, I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed with his content. He's, he does a lot of day in the lives. Uh, he does a lot of like, hey, like, what's this, what's that, right? So be sure to check him out. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much the video, guys. I would like for you guys to comment down below what other MOS you'd like me to cover in the future. Uh, maybe you guys want a 68 Delta, 68 Charlie. Like, I just let me know. I can try and find somebody with that MOS and we can make it happen. I will try everything I can to make it happen. Uh, but I need you guys to comment, you know, what MOSs you want to see. Uh, be sure to like this video if you took anything away from it. And if you want more of these Know Your MOS videos, uh, be sure to subscribe, 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 guys. I think only 11% of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So that means the rest of you guys aren't. So it takes two seconds definitely help us out and if you have any questions whatsoever following this video check out my instagram at ben underscore allen 175 best possible place to reach me i try to respond to everybody uh thank you all so much for tuning in i'll put some videos here on the screen for you guys to check out and uh, i'll see you on the next one later